This morning, Michelle Carter is expected to get out of jail after earning time off for good behavior. A spokesman for the Bristol County Sheriff's Office called her a model inmate who worked in the kitchen serving meals, attended programs, and was extremely polite to the staff. Originally, she was sentenced to 15 months behind bars after a judge found her guilty of involuntary manslaughter in the death of 18-year-old Conrad Roy III. She served 11 months. In a statement, Roy's family said her time in jail, no matter how long or short, will not change the outcome of a guilty verdict, which is thankfully being upheld. The case attracted national attention, including a Dateline Hour, a scripted Lifetime movie, and an HBO documentary, I Love You, Now Die. Over the two years Carter and Roy knew each other, they exchanged thousands of text messages, but rarely saw each other face to face. A cyber relationship that ended in tragedy. In 2014, Roy ended his life with carbon monoxide from the exhaust of his grandfather's truck. Prosecutors said Carter's phone calls and text messages pushed Roy over the edge. Tonight is the night, she wrote. It's now or never. Afterwards, prosecutors and Roy's family said Carter lied about her role in the tragedy while playing the grieving girlfriend for attention and sympathy. Michelle Carter exploited my son's weaknesses and used him as a pawn. Carter's attorneys asked for leniency, arguing she was a disturbed 17-year-old who'd recently begun taking a new medication to treat her own mental health issues. Adolescents are not as culpable as full-grown adults. Carter took the unusual step of waiving her right to a jury trial, instead allowing a judge to decide her fate. This court finds that instructing Mr. Roy to get back in the truck constituted wanton and reckless conduct by Ms. Carter. A heart-wrenching case that tested the limits of free speech, young love, and personal responsibility. Now once again raising questions of whether the punishment fit the crime.